And we are back. Welcome back to my conversation right here on My Central Valley. Um, no introduction. Let's get off into this. <laughs> it's days like this. I love coming into the building. And with that, please welcome from free. No, it's for me. Fry Poutinery. <laughs> my man, Skylar Oraz. How you doing, Skylar? Nice to meet you. I'd like to see his eyes light up with that right there. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm familiar with the Poutinery, with Fry Poutinery. Yes, sir. Uh, let us know exactly what it is. So we wanted to bring a taste of Canada to the Central Valley. And so what poutine is, is it's fries with cheese and gravy on top. And so everyone that's come in, even if 90% of them don't know what poutine is, they sure know as soon as they leave. By the time they yeah. leave. Now, <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm so excited. I can't stop smiling right now. Uh, we got a couple of pictures up of the items on the menu. Give us some rundown on the menu because it's not just one thing. What do you have on the menu? We have all kinds of stuff, and, and we have all kinds of toppings and and other items that'll go on top of our poutines, you know. Uh, we have three sizes. You've got your nice size, which is the small, the good, and then the big ones, the bad size. The <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell people it's good to be bad sometimes. There it is. So basically what it is, is it's the fries with the cheese and the gravy. And we have, we've got a new special. We've got the beef bulgogi, which it comes on kimchi. Mm. So it's kimchi, beef bulgogi on top of the poutine. And then we, like this one we have here, this is the doghouse. So it has hot dogs chopped up on top with some tomatoes, some onions, and some pickles with some ketchup and mustard. It's like having a hot dog right on top of a poutine. Yeah, that looks incredible. For If you can see that, everybody, go to your TV and just go like that and zoom it in so you can see exactly what it's like. Now, this right here, this is a, uh, what sandwich is this? This is our Monte Reuben, and this is something that we just recently added to our menu. It actually comes in a four, a six, and an eight ounce portion. Um, it's super good. It's got the sauerkraut with the Thousand Islands, Swiss cheese. It just pulls apart. And if you want to, take, take a look. Oh, yes, I will take a look. Now, with something like this, this is probably the first around in the Valley. How did you guys come across? I mean, where did the idea come from to bring that to uh, Fresno? Well, the owner is Canadian. He comes from Edmonton, Canada. And, uh, you know, he's looked Sorry. around at different, different places. <laughs> and and he, that's what he wanted to bring. You know, he thought that poutine would be pretty big here in America along with... There we go. Oh, we're going to do this. I'm not going to play it. around with it right now. Oh, yeah. And with um, what's on this exactly? That has sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, pastrami piled high on and a it's rye sticky, bread. too. Super sticky. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I didn't see the bottom of this. Yes, sir. Oh, God bless America. Yes. Let's try this. This is my first time trying this. It's authentic right here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it right there? You got it? I wish I could just take a bite and be like, you know what, uh, it's not really that good. We could cut the show right now and I'd be happy. <laughs> this is incredible, man. Thank you. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. For anybody out there watching, especially you guys at home, you got to try this. I'm not saying that just for the advertising. I'm not getting paid to say this. This right here is trouble. You cannot be on your so-so diet eating this right now. No. Now, tell this, us is, about <laughs> this is more of for people who are cheating on their diet. Oh my goodness, this is good. You see the, the meat on this bat. Now that's one of the things that I really like. I had the opportunity to come in and eat. And you do not skimp on the portions at no, all. No, sir. Now, was that something that you guys do intentionally or? Well, we take pride in our work, you know, and we want other people mm. to see that. We're not gonna give people food that we wouldn't eat ourselves, obviously. You know, uh, I'm gonna serve people a sandwich that, that I'm gonna eat. Yeah. You know, something that looks amazing to me. And other people have obviously seen that and caught on that, and that's why we have a lot of repeat customers who come back, and they just love our food. Now, with the location out in, uh, you're out in Sierra Vista, right? Yes, sir. We're uh, just south of the movie theater. We're across from the MB2 Raceway and the No Surrender Laser Tag. Now, with that foot traffic coming, I know a lot of people may see the sign and not really understand. And how's the foot traffic doing out there for you guys? Good, you know, we get, especially when the parking lot gets the overflow from the movie theater, we get a lot of people that come in and, you know, oh, I just saw it outside. I saw that you guys had Pete's on a stick, or I saw that you guys have a big old juicy Reuben, you know, so. Did you just say Pete's on a stick? Yes, sir, we got Pete's on a stick. Pulls apart like a croissant, mm. dip it in the pizza sauce. You talking my language Yes, now. sir. Okay, <laughs> let me stop before we just run out of here. Uh, <laughs> one, of, uh, one of the things I want to ask, um, do you have any, like, daily specials that you guys do? Um, we actually just started doing a breakfast poutine, which is, you know, our normal poutine with okay. the breakfast sausage cut, and then it has a fried egg on top. 
And that's something we also just started recently. You know, some people have been coming in and they've been loving that too. This is absolute food porn right now. Every time he describes something, mm. I'm like, I want to try that. I want to try yes, that. And you can come in a lot and just keep just new stuff all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that, that, that's the beautiful thing is there's a lot of experimentation that goes on in our kitchen. You know, we're <laughs> always trying something new. Well, how would this go with this? Or, you know, we like to, to really mix and match our flavor profiles. Right. You know, and so that actually brings quite an authentic feel and taste to our food. Now, not just the food. This drink is looking... Yes, uh, sir. What is that exactly? This is our Get Smashed Lemonade. And we call it Get Smashed <laughs> because we made a machine using bike parts and a compressor, and it smashes the fruit into their juices, and it makes the best damn lemonade you'll ever have. Time out. Did you say a bi bike parts? Bike parts. Yes, sir. Where'd that come from? I'm an engineer. There it is. So go, go, gadget, get smashed. Yes, sir. We're, okay, I'm loving it. Now, we also have nitrogen-infused coffee, too. And people have been loving that. Okay, I'm coming in. <laughs> no, I'm coming in again, I should say. Now, before we get out of here, give the exact location and let them know your hours and how they can contact you. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we are located just south of the cinemas at Sierra Vista. As you're walking in, it'll be right to your right. Uh, we're across from the MB2 Raceway. You can get a hold of us at 900-4715. And we are open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day of the week. I'll tell you what, Skylar, I absolutely appreciate you being on the show. Now, I'm telling you guys out there, not just because, not just for the show, but this is absolutely del uh, delicious, and that's just saying, look, I'm going to tell you, like, yo, get in there. That's all I'm saying. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank I appreciate you. it, man. Thank you so much. Skylar Oraz from Pride Continuary. We got more right after this.